Hey there YouTube, Yu-Gi-Oh! Attic here. This is my FDK deck I've been working on for a few weeks. Um, I was running the Exodia version of this, because, you know, Exodia is awesome like that. But I switched to the Magical Explosion version just because it's more consistent. It doesn't use, like, the Life Equalizer combo, it's the Tempest Magician version, similar to the one that topped the jump. The only thing I'm missing for this deck is, um, Tune Table of Contents. So, yeah, and I'm also missing, like, I can't find my third magical mallet randomly, so yeah. But whatever. Anyway, here's the deck. First, I have three Royal Magic Library and one Summoner Monk. You're basically running four Royal Magic Libraries, which gives you the chance of opening, like, 49.2, or basically 50% of one of these using odds, like, using, like, one of those hypergeometric things. So, that's a pretty good chance, which is why I run Summoner Monk. I used to not run Summoner Monk, because discarding a spell can hurt a lot, but you need that library. So, I'd rather take, I'd rather discard a spell and start off with four cards, instead of not opening with library at all. So, yeah. Next, we have Three Brow. This is works with your Dark World Dealings as a mini draw engine. It can also be alerted away and whatnot. Um, yeah. We also have Krevins. And Plague Exposure Zombie. These are your tuners to bring out Prentice Magician. Um, Plague's generally the main one I want to use, and but Krebens is always nice too. I usually just end up alluring him off though. Then moving on to the spells. First we have three Broken Bamboo Sword and three Golden Bamboo Sword. This is your draw engine. This is your main draw engine because Golden Bamboo is basically Pot of Greed once you have Broken Bamboo out. And you can just use Giant Trunade with the Broken Bamboos and stuff, and it gets a lot of pluses for you. And generates spell counters for RML. Next we have 3 Into the Void. This card is pretty good. It's basically repl I would run Upstart, but I can't get quite 11,000 damage anymore with Magical Explosion at 1. So I just use these basically instead, as a, instead of Upstarts. The only problem with these is that at the end of the turn, you do have to discard your whole hand. So if you have, like, multiple brows in hand, you can mill out. But that shouldn't happen, because you're going to be discarding with Tempest anyway. Next, we have three hand destruction. This is just basic draw power for any FTK. I used to rely on these a lot, but I don't rely on them as much anymore, because I've been making this a lot more consistent. So, yeah. Then we have, similar to, like, hand destruction's little brother, Dark World Dealings. Discards your draw engine with Brow, and it allows you to ditch Plague and stuff like that, and just dead cards. It's pretty good. It's only a draw one, but that's fine. Next we have 3 Reload, and 2 Magical Mallet. Um, I would switch, like, the number of these around, but I can't find my other Magical Mallet, so, yeah. Self-explanatory, just reshuffle your hand and whatnot. 2 Cup of Ace. I'm kind of ballsy for running these, but I really like them when they go off. I mean, at the very least, they add the third spell counter, and you just upstart Goblin with them, pretty much. Two Magical Stone Excavation. This is for reviving your spells and, um, whatnot. You generally end up ditching these, but at the very but they can be nice if you're in a t tight situation. One Allure. I run a lot of darks, so it's pretty much staple. One Card Destruction. Staple, pretty much. Giant Trunade. It makes sense in this deck because of broken bamboos and stuff. And you can, like, if you set spells or card destruction, you can bounce back. One upstart. I generally get around 9,000 damage, so the extra 1,000 is fine. I wouldn't run more than, the like, one, though. Because I can't get quite 10,000 damage, usually. Dark Eruption and Emergency Teleport. Dark Eruptions, like, if you have, like, a Brow Engrave, you can add it back and then use Dark World Dealings. And it can also just add up add back random dark thriller or whatever or it can just be a spell counter and emergency teleport is for Krebens. then we have the main card of the deck for our trap which is magical explosion and then you use that with tempest magician and uftk pretty much so yeah that's the deck let me know what you think comment rate subscribe and peace